Hi, this is uh, another, I hope, quite brief, comfy uh, tutorial. Um, using Photoshop as well. Photoshop, if you link it with um, Comfy, you, they make quite a good partnership, I think. So this is about using depth maps, which are, are quite straightforward to lose, use. But first of all, you have to make the depth map. So I make the depth map by, I'll load in a previous generation from something else I made. And I want to make a depth map of this. So um, you load it in. This is the uh, depth map preprocessor. So here's our depth map, which is fine. So we've got our, our young lady there. And um, you have the, the depth map of all this lot. But I don't want this lot. I just want her. Um, so I'll save this image off. So here's the second image, which you want for the background behind her. So we'll process that through the... Uh, depth processor. Okay, so here's our uh, our depth map and we'll save that out and then we'll open them both in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and here's our depth map. So we've got to, I want to cut her out so I don't want any of this stuff and I want to insert this depth information into our city depth map. So what I'll do is I'll drag this over the top of the image I used to make it like so and that should snap into place. Is that lovely? And then I can use the cunning selector thing. I don't know what it's called. It's the, it's the automatic subject selection in Photoshop, which works very well. I remember when it first came out, it didn't. <laughs> but it works very well now. And I want that selection. As you see, it fits very nicely. And I can use that. I can float her off. So Control J, put her in a new layer. And we'll hide the other layers. So we've got... Just, just her cut out and nothing else. We've got a few bits I don't want there. So you see these um, darker bits. Uh, I don't want those. But uh, what you can do is use the magic wand. And if you get the tolerance right, so about 32 should be all right, I think. So about 32, it'll just select the dark areas. I'll just turn off contiguous. So that's um, selected all the dark areas, I think. And we can delete those. A quick look at that. That looks pretty good. I've uh, got a bit of a glitch here, which we'll clone out. Depth maps often have uh, little bits of strange stuff on them. Okay, let's look that over the background. So then she is ready to go in to this depth map. So I'm assuming. So she's ready to go into this depth map and I can, I can position her and scale her once she's in. So I'll drag that layer into here and she is about so i think she's a little bit small so i'll scale her up pad there and she's also she's not um she's not light enough so she needs to be in front of this lot here so if you go into hue saturation and you mustn't do this in levels do it in hue saturation just to lighten it then you still retain the diff the differences in tone so just enough so that she's just lighter, uh, as you see here. She's just lighter than the stuff in the in the foreground there. And if, if you look at the levels of that, we've still got a, a swathe of information here. So it's, it, though it looks white, it's not all white. So it's still got uh, some depth information there, which will help position the um, figure. It, it will know that this shoulder's towards us. So it won't try and put a lady in facing the other way which is uh okay so that that's the photoshop part done uh which is pretty straightforward uh so i'll flatten this off and save it and then load it into comfy so here we are back in comfy and our, our depth map is loaded in it's a it's a pretty standard uh, setup i've got here i've got a, a checkpoint a couple of lauras one is to fancy up the architecture, and then there's two painting ones. I, I don't <coughs> like photographic images, so I find them a bit boring, I'm afraid. So I, I like things to look like they've been uh, painted. And then we have ControlNet. There are plenty of uh, tutorials as to how to set up ControlNet, uh, but I'll quickly rough through it. So we've got uh, the Control Laura here, Load Control, which is ranked 256, Depth, and then we've got Apply ControlNet, Advanced, and its strength is at 60, and it's starting at zero, and it's stopping halfway through. So it's applying its in, its um, influence for five of the ten steps. I'm using a turbo, so I'm not using many steps. And you can see, you should be able to see on the screen from this, my settings on the LoRa's, that's no trouble. And the, the, the rest of it is very standard. I've got a custom sampler and so forth. 
Uh, the denoise and everything is just everything is just set as standard with a fixed. And you can see the prompt here, which is quite straightforward. An oil painting. These are my uh, uh, painting lauras here. Nothing terribly exciting there. So um, we'll prompt that, and uh, just because I'm making a video, it won't come out nice. <laughs> we'll try. We'll see. To see. And there it is. Um, and uh, yeah, lucky. <laughs> It's come out nice. There's a bit of a dodgy hand there, but a uh, a few other generations um, would, with a, a few different seeds, would I'm sure give me a better hand to drop in. But uh, and and the image has a really nice feel. And there's our two towers and the foreground and the viewpoint in the distant sea. And uh, the composition is exactly how we want it. So. You can use Photoshop to, to drop in a figure so you can choose your figure, choose your background and put the two together. Isn't that fun? OK, thanks a lot for watching this. I hope it was uh, useful and interesting. Thank you very much.